Hey guys, today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for people with glasses. I have myopia, which is nearsightedness. It means that I can see things very clearly close up to me, but once something's a little bit further away, and it's not even that far away, it can be like on the other side of the room, um, it becomes a little bit blurry, and the further away it gets much more blurry. So I've certainly picked up a number of tips on how to do your makeup while wearing glasses, and I'm here to share them with you today. So how to prevent, you know, your makeup wearing off there, and the best kind of makeup for your eyes. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial enjoy. The start of my makeup is just going to go as normal so I'm going to take primer but I'm not going to put it on my nose. Oh way too much. So just focus it on the forehead and cheeks. Okay next would be foundation. Let me pick the foundation. Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I usually pick up the shade Warm Nude. I'm going to use my 3D HD from Sigma. This is a must have. Everyone needs it. I filmed a review on this, but then it went out of stock. And it's been out of stock for like two months now, so the video is already two months old. So I will put it up, but once they come back in stock. I'm using the curved side of the 3D HD. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put it all over my nose. So just putting it on the tip of the nose, not on the side of the nose. Okay, I need one last pump. One pump never takes the makeup all over my face. Can anyone get a full look from one pump of foundation? I feel like that's a myth. So here's one of my pairs of glasses. I'm just trying them on to show you how they go. So as you can see, not all of my nose is visible. So there's that. And they also sit kind of just at my lid space. So what we can see is my eyebrows, the tip of my nose, and then, and then the frame covers my crease. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. And then the whole part underneath my eye is visible. So let's keep that in mind and move on with the makeup. So obviously because your eyebrows are kind of framing the frames of the glasses, you need to have those done really nicely. I'm gonna take precisely my brow pencil, just cause this is nice and quick. I use the shade number four. Okay, I'm just gonna start at the arch. Just gonna do a nice gentle brown, nothing too over the top. There's already gonna be a lot going on on my face with the glasses on, so let's just keep it a bit simple. Where do the glasses end? Cool. I already made a booby with my brows. Just gonna take concealer. Also gonna take some of that and conceal my blemish that I have there. This one is a really good concealer. The matte concealer from um, NARS. Go on, go on skis, bye bitch. Gimme brow, of course, to set it in place. When you put glasses on, I think it depends on what kind of glasses you have, but you can see how slightly distorted the glasses make things if I move them around my face. I actually think mine make everything look smaller if you're looking in them. So I'm gonna try and make my eyes look a little bit bigger and enhance them a lot. I'm gonna take the Smashbox lid primer. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'm also gonna put that under my eye because I don't want my creases to show. Got a little beauty blender to pat that in. I'm gonna use a brightening eyeshadow on my lid. This one's called Light. I'm gonna take a creamy matte, well, where are you? I'm gonna take a creamy matte color. Just sweep it through the socket. This is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp. It has a thin edge and then if you flip it, it can be thick. So I really like it and it has real brush bristles. So I really love it. You can get really thin and that's what we're gonna do. Try to keep it really thin. And then when you get to the end, you can wing it out a little bit. Okay, other eye, that's the challenge. So don't talk to me. Next, I'm going to apply mascara. Unfortunately, wearing fake lashes with glasses does not work out well because quite often the lashes hit the lens every time you blink and it's the most annoying thing ever. So just stick with mascara. Nice volumizing one. Next, I'm going, no, that's a lie. Don't take that. Next, I'm gonna take a brightening eye pencil to put on my waterline. This one is called Opal Overcoat. Just gonna put that on my waterline. It adds a little sparkle to your eye. Take it into the inner corner too. Back with that Smashbox palette, I'm gonna take one of the brown shades, this one, and I'm gonna put that under my eye very lightly. So I'm just defining the perimeter of the whole eye here. 
And then I'm just gonna lightly mascara the lower lashes. I don't want them to be too heavy because the glasses can actually cast a shadow underneath your eye, so I'm trying to keep it not too heavy under there. Okay, we need to big time color correct under these puppies. So let me take, I've got some color correcting stuff from Pixie again. I'm gonna take the apricot and the peach one. Just gonna take a bit of that, pop it in here. And I'm only putting it where I have actually little dark patches, so. This is a Sigma brush, the 3D HD Precision. Really recommend these brushes. Comes in handy when you're doing precise things like this. And as you can see, I can line the brush up with the wing. So you don't have to damage that wing that took me like 10 minutes to do. And then I'm gonna take a thin coat of Maybelline Fit Me. Just pat it in the area. Now I'm gonna take a little beauty blender. They make these little teensy ones and I'm gonna pat that over, but I'm not gonna swipe because I did just color correct and I don't wanna move that around. So just start patting. Oh, what's that? You are not welcome here. You shall not pass. I'm gonna take Bobbi Brown Retouching Powder. It's a really nice fine powder and I like that it's actually in this small little container. It just makes it so much more travel friendly and since I don't use powder, that much, or powder, sorry, that much. Um, I can't help but pick up a little bit of a Canadian or American accent, guys, because I am engaged to one, so give me a break. Um, <laughs> people are saying that sometimes I say things American, and it's true. I watch so much American telly and YouTube videos, like, give us a break. <laughs> okay, yeah, I love this retouching powder. <sighs> I'm also gonna add that up here. I'm gonna take Nikki's Everglow Highlighter, the light one. Pat that into the inner corner of the eye. Under the brow. Above my lip. Just cause I always do. Nothing like that got milk effect. One of my favorite primers, it's one of those really grippy ones that doesn't move over your face. I've been using it nonstop for the past few weeks ever since I got it. D Slick Complexion Primer. This is Oh, I always complain that there's always that little hard nugget at the start. It's a really weird primer. It just, the only way I can describe it is that it gets grippy. Weird, I know. Take a very small amount. Normally I use this to prevent greasiness, but tap that over your nose and you're gonna feel as you're patting in that it starts to feel tacky and your nose is gonna be hella matte. Don't swipe this or you'll regret all your life choices up till now. If you've got any left, just put it somewhere that you get greasy. <laughs> you can pat it over the top of foundation. D Slick. Guys, you need this. Everyone needs this. Unless you've got really dry skin, then you don't need it. <laughs> now, you'll notice that when it dries, it feels really powdery. And it's just gonna keep that whole area dry. So you won't get that feeling when all your foundation starts to mush up and then your glasses start sliding over your face. I can feel that it's struggling to get past the bridge of my nose where I put the primer. Next, on my face, obviously you need like blush. Uh, and depending on your glasses, let me just check where these ones go. It doesn't touch, but when I smile, my cheeks kind of touch, but that's not gonna stop me putting blush on. It might stop me from smiling, but it won't stop me from putting blush on. I'm really into this blush, guys. How cute is the packaging? It's the Ciate Glow 2 Illuminating Blush. This is in the color Baby Doll. And so it's a blush that has an illuminator like swirled in with it. And it's so pretz. Ooh, look at my cheek. So fresh. This is where we're at right now. I'm gonna take a bronzer. Get out of town, I don't have a bronzer. Oh no, there. Of course, I packed this. My, oh, this is the one with the highlighter broken, but I do have another one. Anyway, I'm not using the highlighter today, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna take the bronzer. This is the MAC 137, love this brush. Light bit of bronzing. Lip liner, I'm gonna try the Pixie. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. This is the Bare Buff Lip Liner from Pixie. Can we talk about that? That is so beautiful. That is a beautiful lip liner. For lipstick, I'm gonna take Samantha's lipstick from MAC. Oh, I'm so excited. 
First time trying it. Wow, it's the perfect shade. That is the perfect nude. Pinky nude, love it. Bright lips look great with glasses, but I'm not gonna do that because this is an everyday look. Cool, let's try them on with our glasses. I'm gonna try the thick Oliver Peoples one first. What do you all think? Sorry about the ring light in there. There's not really much I can do about that. But I think it looks really good. They're not slipping. And I think it looks good. Uh, my under eye looks very nice and smooth and flawless. My eyes are quite defined. My eyebrows look great. I think that Nikki Tutorial's shimmer is a bit too intense for this everyday look. And I didn't put a highlighter there. I just felt like I would leave it um, for today. I don't have to highlight every day on my cheeks. Plus I have a little blemish there, which that would um, accentuate it. So let's try to ignore it. My next pair of Oliver Peoples. They're these little Harry Potter <laughs> round John Lennon ones. Hold on, I'm just trying to clean them. These are very elegant glasses and I like these because they don't cover as much of your face. So really any kind of makeup looks good with these. So I like these ones. My sister has these too. Next I have Ray-Ban. These were actually Aviator sunglasses that I had made into glasses. But I like these ones too because the fine frame around them means that any makeup looks good. These look really good with your hair chucked up in a bun and they're really casual and just kind of like nerdy cool. So I like them. They cover a larger surface area so it's good on like windier days so that my eyes don't get wind in them because my eyes are super sensitive. And then my favorite ones are my newest ones. These are by a brand called Capri Eyewear. I just bought them at my local optometrist, but the brand is called Capri Eyewear. So if you go to your optometrist, maybe they can order them. These ones are definitely my favorites. It's in the same vein as the uh, Aviators, of course, but these are the square shape. They're so comfortable. These are my newest glasses, actually, so that's probably why I like them so much. But, mm hmm Now, I do have a pair of black version of this that I don't think they're by the same brand. I couldn't find them. I don't think I packed them on this trip, so I can't show you, but they're essentially a black version of that. After doing this, I see that I do need some silver glasses to even out my collection. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for glasses wearing and picked up a couple of tips. And let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what your tips are for glasses wearing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.